The whole goal of this video is to clean up this rat's nest of computer gear. And to make this happen, I'm condensing my main computer and NAS into a 12U home lab rack, laying the foundation for some exciting future projects. To kick things off, I'll be moving my main editing PC into a server rack case from Silverstone Tech, the RM44 which is what is gonna be the main highlight of this video. Silverstone has been awesome helping me make this dream a reality, and they'll also be sending me their upcoming special 2U12 Bay case in the future. To streamline the setup even further, I've decided to reduce cables by going wireless. This includes building a custom keyboard and adding Bluetooth. And to top it all off, I recently got a MacBook Pro M4, so I'm excited to incorporate that into my hybrid desk system. To see how all of this comes together, make sure to subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss those updates when a video drops. And let me know in the comments what's been your favorite part of this video, or if you have any other questions, I'd love to hear from you. All right, we had our Silverstone rack mount chassis series. Uh, this was given to me by Silverstone Tech. Uh, this is gonna be their RM44 and their rail mounts. They sent me this for the video, so I thank them for their contributions to the video, but I wanna be transparent in that. They sent me this as well for my, for my honest and open review on the case. There is no financial compensation. They're just giving me this for the video. So I'm glad they had this box in the box because it was raining outside all day. So here we have the case again. If we unlock it, pull it down, you can see we have a pretty spacious case. We got our IO and stuff, and I'm gonna remove this top here and we'll take a look on the inside. Taking off the cover, you can see that it's pretty much just an average computer case. Nothing too crazy. Um, one thing I really did like about this space is that I'd be able to fit a few graphics card. We got a few extra IO slots. They came with 80 millimeter fans, but I'm gonna be replacing them with these Arctic uh, P8 Maxes. These should help eliminate some sound and uh, probably better than the ones that came with the system. And plus I have the P12s in my case already, so I'm gonna swap them in a match and hopefully this will be quiet enough. Definitely be quieter than the uh, switch that I have. Definitely not as loud as it used to be. Definitely pulling more air as well. So we removed this uh, upper cover that holds the drives and GPU just so we could get a better look inside the case. I don't know if I'll be able to fit my drives on here because of the uh, radiator that I'm gonna be installing on here, but we'll find out. I've never done a rack mount build, but one thing I did like is that, look how easy this is to just install and then it's locked in place. And to take it off you just pull one of these tabs here so we have the case up in the unit i left these bottom two u's open because i'm actually going to be putting a a 2u nas system in there with 12 bays from silverstone when they actually come out uh, i've been talking with them and uh, they have enough demand now where they're going to be producing more so thank you silverstone tech for producing this content and supplying me with the much needed cases uh, to break this down though, once you get this installed in the case, it's fairly easy to actually pull out and do what you need to do in here. So I'm gonna be swapping out these fans just to get them ready for when we put the new system in and uh, we'll see what's next. As I said, we're gonna be putting in these Arctic fans in here. So we're gonna put them in. So here you can see the difference. We got the Arctic fans in here versus these OEM ones that came with the case. A lot longer cables than came with these original ones. And uh, I'm glad I'm gonna be putting in some quieter fans based on my experience with them having the 120 millimeters in my current case. So I think it's a worthy upgrade for the cost of them. So obviously there's a lot more to do yet, but this gives you an idea on what uh, this rack will end up looking like. And I really now just realized that I don't think this switch will do 10 gigabit. So that's unfortunate. Why do I even have it? I literally did this whole fan for nothing. I don't know. I guess we'll see if we can test it still and if 
figure it out, but reading spec sheets online did not look promising. All right, I think it's time we remove this computer out of here. We have to make space for a new printer um, and we're gonna fit it over in this corner here. So we're gonna end up taking these computers out. We'll put them in the rack and then we'll also redo some of our networking stuff in there as well and move over my desk. We'll also have to clean some of it off. So this is my desk setup. if anybody was curious. Start by removing my printer. So I have my main computer that I built out. It's actually hanging on the desk by this like swiveling uh, piece that's mounted on the underside of my desk here that I custom built. So all my whole desk was actually custom built uh, by myself here. But we're gonna have to remove this from here, so we're gonna have to unscrew it here and pull it off and do all the cabling. So you can see we just had this mounted on a bracket here holding it up. But uh, now you can get a view of what my PC look like. We take this glass off, you can see it's a little dirty. Time to switch up the design though. But I will be keeping all the components the same at this point in this computer. The only thing I might pull out are the RGB fans, but we'll see. As you can see it's kind of dusty, haven't been doing that in a while. We had an air cooler in here. 3070 uh, Ryzen 9 3900X, Asus Prime board, 64 gigabytes DDR4 RAM, but I have no real need to update this computer at this time. Um, so we'll just let it be. We're gonna transplant it into the other computer. Start by pulling off the all-in-one fan cooler. We had a push-pull method going on here, so we're taking off the push fans. These are the fans we'll keep in there. These are the Arctic fans. They'll match the 80 millimeter that we had in there as well, but I'm gonna clean these off. I was actually curious to see if I could continue to mount these on the outside here and still have this closed. Looks like it isn't really an option. So these are gonna have to be mounted on the inside with the cooler. I'd rather push them into the cooler, but I might have to be pulling air from the other side of the cooler. We'll have to see. Next, we need to pull out the GPU here. There you go, we can have the GT EVA, EVGA RTX 3070. Overall looks fairly clean, minus some little dusties there, but we'll be sure to clean everything out, like I said. Man, it always sucks on doing your beautiful work in the past, but we're gonna have to take these out. So we gotta get this case ready for the motherboard and it comes with some motherboard standoffs here. So we're gonna be sure to install those where we need to on the case for the new motherboard. Now I'm not sure exactly which ones are gonna be the standoffs that we're looking to get into, but I guess I'm just gonna go with uh, where I believe they are to be like the A, B, this motherboard does have labeling on them. They have a A, B, C, D designation. So you can tell by whichever your motherboard is that you'll be able to put them on there. But I believe the A, B are gonna be for standard ATX motherboards, which is what mine is. But we'll see when we pull out the motherboard from that other case. We're gonna be looking for our motherboard standoffs. I believe I have everything unplugged from the motherboard, except the PSU power supply connection. So I'll go ahead and remove this. That should be all of them. So in theory, the motherboard should lift right off. And in fact, it did, look at that. So we're gonna to wanna to be sure to clean this off. You know, we're using the M18 Fuel Brushless uh, Shop Vac. My God, you can see the dust particles in the air already. All right, we're gonna see if this fits the standoffs that I put on there. Well, this should give you an idea what our case will be looking like. We will be installed the power supply on the top, but pretty much where we're at. I'll be sure to mount this all-in-one cooler first things first. Looks like I need different mounts for this. I don't think these are gonna work with these other. I have to get smaller ones. Looks like they came with some small screws. I wonder if these are gonna be the ones that we wanna fit on here. Moment of truth. Looks like we'll be able to use these to mount onto our 
uh, all in one. All right, and now the power supply should fit nice and snug in there. This fits a regular PS2 power supply unit, so looks like it's drawing air from the inside of the case, exhaling it out the back, so it should also help move some air out of this case. But that's a rough, rough frame up of everything. After this, we just gotta wire everything back up. I wish all of these power buttons for the front IO would just all be standard. I don't know why they do this. I've seen cases where they're all together. So I guess if they wanna have lights and whatnot, they can separate them, but these ones can be together. All the power ones, I've seen it before. I've seen it done. I don't know why companies don't do that. There must be a reason. We got our fans installed here now. We got them daisy chained up. I have to remove this IO port for, uh, for the GPU. So I'll probably be pulling two of these off. We'll get this plugged in. So we have our GPU in, it's time to do the rest of the power supply cabling. All right, we have everything connected. I believe everything's all good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and put it together and bench test this here, even though it's already put together. One thing nice about having this versus, I forgot these fans as well. But another thing nice about a computer case like this versus one that you want to display everything is that you don't have to worry about cable as management as much. So it's a little bit easier to just kind of slap together. Boot test, we got power on there. We just first booted in. You can see how quiet this build really is. Only thing making noise is the water cooler and that's only momentarily. So that's first boot. Might need to put a glass panel up on here. So you really can't see the lights through there. I'm kind of glad about that because sometimes this is in my guest bedroom. People, if they are spending the night, it'd just be lit if my computer was on. So I realized I didn't have my GPU properly seated in there. So now we have that properly seated. I'm gonna push this in and connect my cords. I'm also gonna need longer HDMI or uh, the other connector. Can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna need a longer one of each of them because my rising desk can't even go up all the way. So we have it all booted back up. I'm gonna actually end up reformatting this to Windows 11, but I got some work I need to do. So I'm gonna do that quick, take care of this desk, and then I'll continue on with this other project. So I have everything nicely packed in here. Uh, you can feel some of the breeze come through. You can kind of see that it's running, but uh, I think this will be a nice addition to my setup here. So will this. So you can kind of see how this space is evolving. Uh, we have to put our other server computer back in there. I'll probably put it right here for the time being since we have more space with this printer. I'll probably eventually move that, but yeah, this is kind of the space for the time being. Thank you, Silverstone Tech for sending me this uh chassis it's very much appreciated i can't wait to see your 2u 12 hard drive one that i can switch over this nas computer to but for the meantime like i said we'll set it here and that's a wrap for this step of the transformation moving my main editing pc into the silverstone rm44 was just the beginning there's still a lot more ahead such as streamlining the rest of the rack reworking my network with a potential 10 gigabit upgrade and setting up a 12 bay nas i'm currently working on a custom mechanical keyboard video that i built on a budget and if you're interested i can share more details about my hybrid desk setup that includes windows and mac os let me know in the comments what you enjoyed most about this video or if you have any questions about the build i love to hear your thoughts and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to keep up to date with the upcoming projects thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one